we have conducted an ALICE trial, which was a randomized phase 2B trial with 70 patients, uh, evaluating uh, the additional atezolizumab, a pdl one uh, blocker, uh, to uh, immunostimulating chemotherapy and metastatic people negative breast cancer. So the results were presented today here at San Antonio and uh, are published uh, today in Nature Medicine. Um, so the, the rationale for this trial was that we, we wanted to explore if it's possible to increase the benefit from uh, checkpoint inhibitors by combining them with selected chemotherapy that has immunomodulatory uh, capacities. Uh, and and then most importantly, if it's possible to get a response in patients that are pd one negative. As in previous trials, the pd one negatives have not benefited in metastatic triple negative breast cancer uh, from these checkpoint inhibitors. Uh, so, uh, in this trial, uh, we used as the chemotherapy backbone a uh, combination of anthracyclines in the form of pegylated liposomal doxorubicin and a metronomic cyclophosphamide. And the reason for this choice was, first of all, that anthracyclines are effective in breast cancer and there have been no randomized trials evaluating them uh, in combination with immunotherapy in breast cancer. Um, and the second reason was that Anthracyclines have been reported to provoke immunogenic cell death, at least in preclinical models, um, suggesting that they may actually uh, provoke an immune response in patients that wouldn't otherwise respond to immune checkpoint inhibitors. And, and the reason for using cyclophosphamide is first that it's, it's also an immunogenic chemotherapy, and uh, second that uh, it has been reported that this low dose metronomic uh, 50 mg per day dose of, of cyclophosphamide uh, counters regulatory T cells which is, of course, an alternative mechanism for immune escape. Um, so what we did was to give the patients in both arms the same chemotherapy. Um, and then uh, to, this was a placebo control trial. So one group received that at the mouth, the other one, saline. Uh, we opened the placebo code now in July. And we were excited to see that all the long-term uh, responders were in that atezolizumab arm. So we had the preset time point of 15 months uh, to looking for the long-term response, which is always very important immuno in immunotherapy. And we saw that all the patients that had uh, passed those 15 months were in the ATESO arm. Uh, we also saw that the general hazard ratio was 0.57, um, which, and that the, the p-value was below 0.05, so it was a significant uh, effect. Um, we saw that both in the protocol population and, and in the intention to treat population. Um, and most interestingly, perhaps, is that we did see it also in the pdl one negative population. So these are patients that have never benefited in previous trials from immunotherapy, but we saw actually the same hazard ratio. Um, we saw that uh, we had three patients with more than two years progression-free survival that are pdl one negative uh, in that ateso arm. arm. Um, so the primary endpoints of the study was descriptive uh, evaluation of effect by descriptive progression for survival. Uh, the other one was uh, the safety. And regarding the safety, we, we did see more immune-related adverse events in that teslizumab arm. Um, but uh, it was still a, a quite rather low percentage of patients that had to discontinue therapy and not a high frequency of the more serious adverse events. It was 10% with uh, high-grade immune-related adverse events in that TSO arm. Um, and we also believe that actually some of that difference may be related to the fact that they have uh, uh, more treatment exposure because they have longer time on the, also on the chemo because they responded for longer. Um, so then the question is, where do we go from here? Um, we think that these findings uh, provide the basis for uh, conducting a randomized phase three trial, a full-scale uh, trial, to confirm, uh, hopefully, uh, these findings. Um, if that's possible, and if, if, the, if the findings are confirmed, it could mean actually a, a new standard therapy for uh, pd one negative uh, metastatic triple negative breast cancer.